So in order to import our own custom filters or assets, it's pretty simple. We have to go up to edit and we want to go to preferences. So when we're in preferences here, we want to go down to projects and we want to go into where we find library. And this is going to let us uh, basically affect anything that's within our library category over here. I'm going to click on library. And first we need to link the project where we're going to be drawing these resources from. So I'm going to go over to the little plus sign there. And so all we need to do right now is find the final uh, master or root folder where we're going to have all of our resources. And so I have both the SBS and SBS AR file within this folder here. So I'm going to select folder and I'm going to go down and I'm going to apply and then hit OK. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to come up to our library over here and I'm going to open this up so we have a lot more room. And I want to create a new folder which I'm going to contain all of my uh, personally imported generators. So we're going to get down at the bottom here folder one and I'm just going to edit the folder. And so we're going to get the name and the project. So I'm going to call this my generators and I'm going to make sure that we just have user projects selected here and so now I'm going to go ahead and create a filter when I have my uh, folder here highlighted and this is going to allow us to basically filter out what we are trying to look for when we click on this little subheader here and so with this filter I'm going to call this leaf generator and so whenever I go and click on this we're going to just get anything that's related to leaf generator showing up so the first thing we're going to have here is the type and so I want to go ahead and I want to click on graph because we're going to be using the graph that we created for our leaf generator as the input or the resource the second drop down here is basically the sorting parameter for what we're going to be finding and where we're going to be finding this resource. And so because we have our resources in a specific folder, I'm going to click on URL. And what the URL is, is if I go into my folder here and I just right click on any one of these two and go to properties, it's going to be the location within my hard drive where we're going to find these resources. And so I'm going to just highlight all of this and I'm going to control and copy that and then the last drop down here is going to essentially be how we're going to find our uh, URL and so we're going to leave it on contains because we want the URL of our resources to contain the location that we had selected and so when I hit enter we're going to get our resources showing up in our leaf generator here and you can see that if I click away and click back we're only going to get our leaf generator that's a graph and it's contained the URL of the specific location so now if I go ahead and I create a new substance here and I just click and drag this leaf generator into our project I get a leaf generator with all of the parameters that I've exposed and we can also use this on our material. So now every time that I need this specific resource all I have to do is come down into my library here find my generators or I can even hit spacebar in the graph and start to type in the name of our specific resources.